What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are about to embark on an adventure of Pip. This was a game I kickstarted many, many moons ago, but it finally came out, or at least we all got our beta keys. So we're going to start an adventure. The plot of the game is, of course, there's an evil queen wizard type person that, you know, tries to take control of stuff. But the real hook of this game, you'll see as we play. So yes, I tested it out ahead of time over here. We're going to start a new game together. I should probably be reading this, but everyone can see it and enjoy it. But this kingdom is based on pixels. The more pixely you are, the better off you are. Created pixels from nothingness. One day, Princess Adeline was born with such an ability. This brought joy, but also worry. I'll use my calm voice. For in the darkness lived the skeleton queen who wanted to harness such power. That skeleton warrior is kind of cool looking. On her 16th birthday, the skeleton queen attacked and absorbed all of the pixels. I'm going to forget what the word pixels means soon because I've seen it a bunch of times now. Everyone watched in terror, except one! Dun 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 Okay, hype. Pip, there he is. That's us. Red block of adventure. One single pixel. Let us begin. Pip, Pip, get up! There you go. The whole castle's shaking. The castle queen has returned! Please check on it. You won't even be noticed because you're so useless and irrelevant. So, right now, I'm just Pip. I'm one red block. Jump around. You can see like the whole world's obviously not uh, one bit. We we'll some color to it. This says if you hold A, you can float. Fetch the castle guards. The skull squitter everywhere. Ah, to say they're making fun of us already because we're different. But you can hop on the bad guys. Um, the things that are bouncing out right now are basically money. For a little later in the game. There's also a lot of hidden things too. So... See, there's real like 16-bit, 32-bit looking people here too. Real nice pixels. Do you read all your guests with armed guards? I was on my own anyway. I stole the princess. And now she stole her magic pixel creating ability and killed the guards. We will dismantle the kingdom. So here we go. Find a hero to save my daughter. I will be that hero. You don't worry about me. We got this. Uh, these are checkpoints. She's laughing, having a good time. You can see the uh, upper class and the lower class are hanging out together here. Everyone's lives in danger when, li when lives are in danger. That little Goomba looking guys we just jumped on. Alright, so here's one of the... See, this is like, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're kind of obvious. Like, there's little gaps here. Here and there. Like, you can tell this is probably one. And where this guy came through. You can tell it's one. You know, the usual. Nothing super complicated. Another checkpoint. I also ask everybody not to worry. The hook of the game is coming soon. 
It's a little slow. This game's a little uh, slow to start. I thought the same thing yesterday when I tested it out. Broken down weapon shot. Broken down potion shot. You're probably asking yourself, Toby, how is Pip going to fight off anybody as just a single block? Well, you're about to find out. The hometown. Here we go. This is how the game starts. If we uh, zoom out, we'll say there's one, two, three, four, five, six different worlds. But here we start forest one, one. At every level, there's also three villagers to save. I don't know if saving them does anything yet. I mean, I'm probably I'm sure there's probably achievements for it and stuff. I think I have the money. Uh, you get hit three times, like most games. There's a villager. So what you want to do is you want to, you know, bounce off the bug, get up here. Tommy! We saved Tommy. Foolish Pixel, why do you follow me through a forest that will eat you alive? She thinks everyone looks down on me, because I'm the underdog. But you know what? That just gets me more fired up. Pip. Pip. I'm a ghost, Pip. You have finally come. Long have I waited for you, young hero. I am Sir Elwyn. I was once a knight who protected these parts until beetles took over and laid it to waste. My ghost cannot pass on to the afterlife until a hero takes my place. You are that hero. Oh. <laughs> I see courage in you larger than any pixel before. I give you the power of the bitstream. You can absorb pixels from the beast made of pure energy. And from those pixels, you will evolve. And there we go. Here is how the game works. I'm now 8-bit, we'll say. I'm not good at the bit numbers. I will throw that out there now. Just so before, you know, maybe if someone corrects me and is like, oh, you went from 4-bit to 8-bit, not 8 to 16. Yeah. So the glowing creatures, this isn't a story thing. The glowing creatures are how you re-evolve yourself if something bad happens. Uh, see, we just save the merchant. I'm trying to do three different things at the same time. So the single red block that ability was to hover. Uh, 8 bit pip is ability is to punch. See, like that, see that's kind of obvious too. Uh, his ability is to punch and he can wall jump. Like so. Visually this game is like really pretty though. I do dig that part of it. I don't know what game a generation this will probably be considered, but it looks cool so far. You can also like stick to the wall and slide down. I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. Oh, okay. So this is instead of the sign teaching you, I will teach you. So, another one of the game's puzzle mechanics, because this is like a puzzly adventure platformer game. If you hold the B button, you, you devolve. And you can't re-evolve until you kill one of those blue things again. So that leads you to puzzles like these. We have to do things like that. Actually, when I tried to do this the first time, I wasn't able to make that jump the first time, so I, beat it I did it that way. But as you can see, even from the first puzzle we just did, that mechanic is huge. Or, yeah. Like, you have to, I guess, be smart about when you evolve and devolve. You've reached a conduit. These are scattered throughout the world. You can use these teleports to get anywhere. What he means by that is this is the end of the level. It's like a thousand degrees in my house, by the way. So if you hear me drinking water, I apologize. I'm trying to be quiet and back away from the mic. So 
Such happy music. So before we go to the next forest area here, we'll go back to the shop just so I can show everybody what goes on here. So it's fixed now. Thank you for saving me. So it has the usual kind of video game items. Here's health potions you can buy. This is a potion you don't have to worry about taking. The sponges suck in the pixels that are just hanging out there. Uh, this is like an easy world escape. And heart containers, obviously, give you more health. The visuals of this remind me of Rogue Legacy. It's probably the best comparison I can think of offhand. So we're going to do one more level today. Those combos. Pip, I believe these blocks look familiar. They're made of pure energy. He gave me a free read of all of there. But the purple blocks, or pink, whatever color, all shatter when you level yourself up. I don't even know what you were, dude. You're just gone. Do, do, boop, boop, boop. Look at that. F one fluid motion. I'm truly a controller of the bitstream. Uh, that's right. The thing I don't really like about the wall jumps in this game is you can't push yourself back. Like, you only push yourself out. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have did that. Alright, try this again. Or maybe, see, sometimes it seems like you can't... Maybe I climbed up. Like, sometimes it seems like you can push off and sometimes you can't. Do, 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 do. Castlevania Turkey. Everyone loves those. Look at these sweet aerial moves I'm doing. As of right now, in regards to the uh, the money deal here. I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to buy heart containers. Because everything else seems excessive to me. Like, I don't really think that I need... Oh, there we go. Um, I'm going to be bold and not just buy health potions. That seems silly. Oh, can they respawn? They don't. Oh, they do. Sweet. I had this problem yesterday, too. Where I forgot how to play the game for a second. I missed saving that wonderful villager. I guess the, um... The pixel magnets would probably be good for, like... If you... Jump on bad guys like that, you could probably suck them back up. But other than that, it seems excessive. The music sounds like Pokemon music, too. That's one thing I've noticed. Alright, so hopefully everyone enjoyed our little adventure so far. We will be continuing with this. I think it will be a every other day schedule kind of thing. Just so I can do some other stuff, too, during the week. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed watching this. See you in a couple days. Lates.